happen. I can't quite decide whether you'll be delighted with the character in the comeback or furious at being 2 0 down again. How did you see that, that comeback performance? Delighted with the character of the comeback. You know, you've got to be class for half full, haven't you? Um, you know, there's no way on earth we deserve to go into 2 1 down, let alone 2 0 down. You know what I mean? Um, they'd had a soft head, I'd say, to Chapman, and two chances. One was a gift from us. And the other one, you know, to throw one in and we haven't marked properly and we're being punished. Well, it sounds really mad for myself but and contradictory, but I thought we defended well throughout the 90 minutes, to be honest. And, you know, two lapses of concentration has cost us. And it nearly cost us when at 2 2 and never hit the post as well. Um, and Chappies made a save in the second half, tipped one over the bar, and I go back to the one that did hit the post. And then we haven't really troubled us. Um, so. You know, we, we had good chances in the first half, didn't take them. Um, but we kept going, you know, we, uh, it started very bitty the second half and I feared that the game was going to peter out. Um, similar to what the, uh, the Crawley game did at 3-2. Um, but give the last to Judy, had the bit between the teeth and they kept on going and pushed for the winner and got the winner. You've done it two home games in a row now, coming back from, from that deficit. But what does that say about the group of players that you've got? Well, they want to be successful. And we've told them that, you know, that we've got good enough players to be successful. But we can't keep giving our, ourselves a mountain to climb. And that's something that needs to be addressed. Um, but there were some big performances up there. At times of difficulty, you need your senior players, don't you? Have they really stepped up for you today? Not just the two that are on the score sheet, but, but two or three of them. Yeah, you know, I mean, I mean, I thought Mark Marshall and Jimmy marshalled the defence really well in the second half. Um, I thought Jimmy was outstanding, to be honest. Um, and uh, Eric Hose came on and made a, a hell of a difference, you know. And that's no disrespect to Callum playing up there, but he just gave us that little bit of spark to go at people. Caden Jackson was a complete menace all night, well, all day, sorry. Um, you know, you'd hate to play against him. And it's just a shame that he couldn't get on a score sheet because that performance merited the goal. But, you know, Stephen is a you know a very capable side, and they'll take points off teams this season. So it was important that we didn't you know go down to two losses to them. Um, and you know we, if we can iron out the defensive lapses of concentration, we've got a good chance of being successful. The nature of this league is such that at two two, I think you were still outside the playoffs, and at, and at three two, you're right back up there in the automatic race. Yeah, Wickham scored two in the last minute. Those in this one. Now we listen. We've said to our players all along, we'll take care of ourselves. Don't worry about anybody else. Um, it's very much in our own hands and we've just got to, you know, grab the ball by the arms. Um, not a big game coming up Tuesday and every game we play is going to be big. Um, and we've got to be prepared to rise to the occasion. Um, you know, wh when we do get it right, we are a very, very formidable opposition. And so we've, we've got to try and get it right more often. You've got Harvey Rogers back on deadline day. Yeah. Was that a nice little bonus later on? It was, yeah. You know, um, we know all about Harvey, I think. Fan fans favourite, and um, we didn't expect him to make longer than an hour, you know, 58 minutes. That was adequate for him today. And you know, just you know, I spoke to him after the game, and he, he, he said he felt unfit. And um, there's no substitute for playing games, and, and when you're playing in the intensity that we try to play, uh, but he'll sure, I'm sure he'll get up to speed very, very soon. We've got the bonus of the captain being back in the uh, in the squad, um, and you know, so from having. Just, just the disappointment of losing Jordan Clark with a groin. But apart from that, you know, we've got, we've got numerous options, which is uh, healthy going into the back end of the season. And you've teased it nicely already. But Swindon at home on Tuesday night looks like a great proposition. Now two teams really who have got something to play for and, and can get themselves right into contention. Well, that's it, then you know, you know, I know for the club really well. Um, I know the type of football they want to play. I know it's a football we want to play, so it should lend itself to being a good game, and let's hope we can come out on top. Just one on Jordan Clark, is that a niggle or something that could keep him out for a while? Well, we'll know more, he's going to go for the scan on Monday, so we'll know more, but he, he felt it on Thursday and he's improved today, so that's a positive sign.